So this is the closing ceremony of the 28 Chaos Communication Congress. And uh, it has been, as always, a long four days. Um, we have had many interesting talks, many interesting events. Uh, what I found personally very, very interesting is that we had a very intense debate, not only in the talks, but also in, uh, in the hallways and in the cafeteria and so on, in the restaurants, about what is the role of the hacker in today's world, especially when it comes to how technology is being used. So the debate about are the technologies that we are building, the technologies that people like us are building, used for good things or for oppressive things, that this debate came very much to the forefront of everything here. So we had a number of talks to stimulate this debate, but uh, I found that very, very good and very, uh, very surprising a little bit uh, how fierce these debates have been and uh, how much discussion has been there. So the Congress is, as we all know, a volunteer-driven event. Um, so the, the people who are running this show are the angels. We had uh, quite a number of them. Let me look up the number. We had 315 angels, and I want a really big round of applause for them. So we have a little bit of statistics because uh, we track quite a few things. Uh, there were 3,645 hours of angel work uh, during this Congress. That is not counting uh, build up and takedown. Uh, that is approximately 11 and a half hours per angel. So that uh, quite many people uh, donated lots of their time here at Congress where they could do other stuff as well to make these things work. Without them, that wouldn't be possible. Um, we also want to thank a lot uh, the people, the employees of the BCC. Without them, this Congress would simply not be possible. Big round of applause for them, please. <laughs> so the, the BCC has been our home for years now uh, for this Congress. And we really like to love it. Uh, we know where every single cable is in this building, and that makes it a really, really nice venture. And the people who are running this building are very friendly and very open to our ideas, something that we haven't experienced anywhere else. So thanks again. <laughs> of course, such a big event requires lots of coordination, and uh, has been a small organizational team, primarily Zipu and Julia and Starbuck, who have been preparing this thing for a long, long time. And uh, please, a big thanks for them for making this whole thing possible. <laughs> so while we are at statistics, we consumed about 27.5 megawatts hours here at Congress, which is approximately 10 times what an average low energy house in Germany consumes in a year. <laughs> and um, I also have the statistics uh, from the third. Uh, they had 43 emissions to do. Uh, 14 of them were because of the pain station down there. <laughs> they had 27 smaller things that they needed patching up, and only two, uh, two times they needed to call external for external medical help. Uh, a big thanks to the third anyway, without them we would die here probably. <laughs> So going on with a few statistics, uh, there were about 9,000 bottles of Marte consumed here at the Congress. 
over, over 9,000, yeah. Um, 5,500 bottles of beer, 1,500 bottles of cola, and about 3,000 bottles of flora power. Um, the problem is that we apparently consumed all of the December production of flora power. <laughs> And so, th th thanks to the, the people who run in cafeteria downstairs, um, uh, I found them extremely friendly and helpful, um, so that, that was quite good. So we... Yeah, thanks. So we, we had, of course, also talks here, some of you may have noticed. Um, actually, the, the talks have been organized by the content committee, which is also quite a lot of work. Uh, they need to shift through all the submissions. We had uh, 235 submissions this year. Um, 99 talks have actually taken place. One talk uh, got cancelled uh, somehow. We had 130 uh, speakers here, and we made it up to uh, the Farplan version 1.9, which is uh, overall 26 versions that were being done. And so I want a big applause for the content committee and the speaker. And of course, also the people uh, who were doing speaker support, which is, can sometimes be a little bit stressing, especially if your keynote speaker doesn't show up until the last minute before the talk. So um, that is something where we all uh, had fun. So as we all know, this building is a little bit tiny for us. Uh, we have grown our cultural space larger than this building can hold. So we could have sought approximately yeah, two times as many tickets as we have been uh, sold. So that's our estimate from, from what we've seen. So I have one question. That is, who of you would also attend a Congress that is double the size of this one? And who would not? Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, so far currently we have um, many people sitting outside the Congress at their at the peace missions, at the no not left behind places. And this is only possible because we have an excellent streaming crew, the FEM. Uh, I want a big round of applause for them because... So the, the streaming this year has been simply amazing. They supported seven different streaming formats at once, um, had more than 4,100 concurrent users peak, meaning more people than were here were actually watching the streams. Um, so far, 1.8 terabyte of video files have been produced, and um, so they had uh, 27 different streams, seven, uh, two months preparation and we're running from 39 hardware nodes, so this was a, quite an operation. I have never seen anything like this, in a sense. So thanks again to the FEM. <laughs> so, um, we have one little piece of data to show, which is, could you put it up? From the Beamer here, uh, from the notebook? Okay, so while the, the video crew is striving to earn their next applause, <laughs> um, I want to talk a little bit about the NOC. The NOC had their own NOC review uh, previously already, so where all the details were present. Um, but uh, I can give you a little bit of the data still. The NOC uh, was also running quite a sizable operation. From my experience, the, yeah, thanks for that. From my experience, the, uh, the network quality was far better than anything we had at Congresses so far, uh, with some hiccups, of course, in between. Um, so we had 
91,246 gigabyte data sent to the network and uh, 23,338 gigabyte received. So that means we are a sender, not a receiver, which is good. We always wanted to do that. And so a big thanks again to the network and wireless LAN crews. They did a great job. And also, now that the video is up, a big thanks to the video and audio crews who made it possible that we had this marvelous congress here uh, with good audio and video, and sometimes even with bus. <laughs> Yeah, of course, the big question is when we will see each other next again. The next uh, thing will be the Sikkent in Köln, uh, 18th to 20th of May. Uh, you may mark the date. Uh, usually the Sikkent in Köln is a little bit of a different event, uh, but still nice. And in May, Cologne is also worth the travel. So we may see each other again. Um, there will be probably a lot of debate on what will be going on with Congress, moving to a larger venue, not moving to a larger venue, keeping it here, how to distribute tickets or not. Um, so, this, so this will be going on, also pricing. So there, there are a lot, lot of things that need, need uh, debating. Um, it is clear that things may change, um, when, which is also something that we need to consider in terms of volunteers. So the, what we have seen is that the, the number of volunteers doesn't scale linearly with the number of participants. So we currently have in the region of a little bit more than 10% volunteers who are doing angel work or otherwise uh, volunteer work. Um, but we have seen that the number declines in relation to the number of participants, which means that if we scale Congress larger, then we may not have enough volunteers to run it. Also, organizing something much larger is a lot more stress. So we will see what happens there. No promises yet there. There will, of course, be a next Congress. And so I hope to see you all there again. And thanks for coming. Thank you.